Hello. Um, I was raised, I'm an, I'm an old person, I'm an old person. From the time I was very young, I would hear the principle, you do not discuss religion or politics. What is your recommendation in a grassroots level, the place where maybe we can make the most influence right in our own neighborhoods of how among neighbors that we don't know if they're believers or non or whatever, to even broach the subject? What is a comfortable, a suggestive way that you have that we can bring this up? Often now as a conversation starter, somebody asked me, you know, well, what do you do with your nonprofit or something to that effect? Because that's what we are, you know, 501c3 nonprofit. I say, well, we have uh, we have endeavored to make ourselves the world's worst conversational partners. <laughs> and, uh, and usually they go, well, what do you mean? And then you and that kind of helps to uh, sort of dis- defray some of the you know kind of abrasiveness of what I might be about to talk to them about. So anyway, but I'll, I'll give it back to Carrie here. <laughs> so. so I love this question because um, one of the things that I do is I teach critical thinking courses. Uh, and I use the Socratic method. Not critical theory. Critical yeah, theory. That's right. Yeah. Not the same thing. Um, I use the Socratic method. And typically, the Socratic method is used by people in an adversarial way. I use it as a way of teaching discovery, teaching how, how to learn something new. And so I have these conversations with people many times just by asking questions. But really, this has to come from a place of confidence in you. You have to be confident about what it is that you believe in when it comes to religion and politics. If you're comfortable with that, then it is easier to ask the questions and not get defensive. Mm -hmm. When you have the, the, the adversarial fighting, what you have is two people who are being very defensive, talking past one another, and it doesn't go anywhere. If at least one of you is confident and doesn't have to feel defensive, then you can have a conversation about tough topics.